hey loves welcome back to my channel thank you so very much for clicking on this video so today's video is all about luxury declutter i have a couple stuff in my closet luxury wise that i don't reach for all the time and i, I just feel somehow i feel like it's not i can't afford it right now to just have like things that cost thousands of dollars just sit right in my closet and not be used so i decided to like you know some of these bags and things i don't use let me see if i can sell it and then maybe i could sell it out get back some of my money that was my thought but let's discuss about this when we get into the video but before then i want to welcome you to my channel thank you so very much for clicking on this video i really really appreciate you please do not forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment so let's begin so most of the things that i have their bags so i this is the reason why i buy luxury bags because i know i well i think that my previous thought that i could always like resell it and get like at least most of my money even if i you know i lose some but most but obviously these days luxury is not things that people you know get into anymore like that so the luxury market they buy from you but they sell it really really expensive they buy from you and they pay you chicken change like they give you you know nothing peanut but then they sell it for this amount of money and i just cannot but let's see what i have that i want to let go i think i want to let go but the first one i have ooh, is this one you won't believe this this is my chanel boy bag i've used this bag to see i love this bag I love 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 this bag but I don't use it the way I want to use it and I think I have a lot of like shorter bags and the reason why I want to sell this is not because I don't love it it's just because the other shorter bags are bugging me the, the ones that I have if I have to sell them they're gonna be really 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 discount like it's gonna be sold for nothing so instead of selling them I decided to sell this one since it's Chanel so I did send, you know, um, send it to Fashion File and I, I took it to some of my local stores to see if they'll buy it, but they priced me like less than $2,000. Mind you, this bag is, I think, $6,800 $6, for the medium. Nowhere and tear, it's in a good condition, in an excellent condition. Just a little finer uh, scratches. And Fashion Fire came back with a quote of $2,300. I didn't even, I bought this one from Fashion Fire and I didn't, like, let me tell you, I paid a lot of money. I paid a lot of money for this bag from Fashion Fire. The audacity of them to, like, price me the amount of money. And I'm like, I mean, I understand that I don't wear it the way I want to wear it, but I'm not selling this bag and lose half of, like, what I bought, bought it for. That is crazy. So, I want to let go, let go. If tomorrow somebody, I have it on my Poshmark right now. If tomorrow somebody have come up with like and price me decently, I will let it go. But if not, I am not selling it for twenty three hundred dollars. Twenty three hundred. Twenty three hundred dollars. Twenty three hundred dollars. No, two thousand three hundred dollars. No fashion fair. We're not doing that. So I'm gonna keep this in my closet till I see. And if I don't see anybody that pays me like reasonable i'm gonna leave it in my collection and sometimes i guess they say you buy luxury and you can get back your money this is chanel chanel is supposed to be very popular and you're supposed to get at least most of your money with chanel but apparently luxury you can never trust so that is the first bag i was thinking of letting go i want to declutter and next thing i have thought about letting go also is my um louis vuitton speedy in this bandolier uh they may have been i have for some reason have been like not in love with louis vuitton of late like that um most of the bags i buy and then i sell them quickly um this one is the only bag that my partner but kind of contributed i think this one the bag i think and i was trying not to sell it but i haven't used this for like the past year plus and it's just in my closet um i reached out it has a little like um discoloration 
I mean, I can use it as a, a carry-on bag or a handbag if I'm traveling, but I don't want to do all of that. So I was seeing, to, I was looking to see at least if I can get this like for, this is going for like, I think 1830 or something like that. Even if I can get like 1100, I was thinking like the, you know, lowest, at least 1100. Do you know how much like my local stores priced me $600 and uh, Fashion Fire came back with 650 So I'm going to know. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. What is going on? So, um, I seen that some people buy sell things from Rebag. I'm scared of Rebag. Um, maybe I can try them. But if I'm really like really into letting go, like seriously letting go of these bags, I can try Rebag. I haven't done any business with them. I know I've done with Fashion Fire. That's why I'm able to like try to get quotes from Fashion Fire, but it's not working. So no, these bags. No, they're still in my collection. I have been trying not to sell this bag. I bought this bag for my birthday last year. This is the Fendi Baguette. Um, I have wanted to buy the Louis Vuitton multicolor bag, and because they don't, it doesn't, you can't easily, easily get access to that bag or buy it like that. Um, I decided to buy this, and there's a reason why I bought this. I bought it back from Fendi, and I didn't like it. I returned it. Didn't know that they don't. They do only credit uh, stock credit, so I end up using the stock credit for this. But I have worn this like twi twice or three times since I had it since last year, and I feel like I'm not gonna wear it like that. Like that, but so I sent I sent it to Fashion Fire, and Fashion Fire Fashion Fire rejected this. This is new, like you still have the plastic. They rejected it. I'm not even gonna try my local store. Because they don't sell Fendi. Fendi is not something that, that goes well for them. So I, they will probably reject it. But I can't believe like Fashion Fire rejected it. So I have it on my um, Poshmark just in case. They have a couple people selling this on Poshmark also. So it's going to be a very hard one to sell. But this is definitely one of those ones I genuinely want to let go. This Fendi. Uh, because I'm not. It's a fabric bag and... I don't know what I was thinking, spending that amount of money on a fabric bag. And I always tell myself that I am not paying that much of, amount of money for fabric bag. That is stupid. Especially the one that is like white or off-white, so it's going to get dirty easy. The next bag I wanted to let go, I'm thinking about letting go, is, oh my god, this my uh, Chanel Hobo bag. I think I got this last year or two years ago. Um, this is the only time they did this in this caviar letter. Uh, the rest is normally patent letter. Uh, this was like less than $5,000. Fashion felt like original. Oh, no, no, no. Right now, when I bought it, it was less than 5000 Now it's 5300 Fashion Fry came back with a quote for me for $2,800. I mean, I wish they went up to like 3000 something. I would have let go of this. But I am not. I just feel like this is new bag. I probably wore this like three, four times already. Um, and I just feel and it still have like the plastic. I just feel like twenty eight hundred dollars. This is the one they even caught this one more than the boy bag, which is crazy. This I got from the store, like Chanel store. So right now, I'm still thinking. Um, this is on my Poshmark also, but. No, Fashion Fire, come on. Ah, Lord. So, if you're trying to use uh, luxury as an investment, this is an eye opening. Learn from me. Please don't do it. It's not, it's not. And I repeat, it's not an investment. Can never be an investment because you always lose the money. The last bag that I have, I think I probably have other bags, but the last bag that I have that I um, definitely want to let go. I've been trying to let go of this ever since it's been on my Poshmark for a long time because the others, like my local places, came back with four hundred dollars and Fashion File came back with six hundred, five hundred and fifty, five hundred and fifty. This bag is thirty something hundred dollars. Okay. So no, I still in my closet in my collection because I'm not letting it go for five hundred dollars. 
I mean, I, 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 I don't think it got to that point. I guess if it gets to that point where I'm like, okay, it's either this or that, you know, so I will let it go. But for now, I don't, that is a lot of money that I'll be losing. I mean, I didn't buy it from the stores, but I buy, I bought it discounted. But knowing that I'm still going to be losing over a thousand dollars if I sell it, it's just a slap. The last thing I want to show you, like I have shoes and every other thing that I really want to let go. <sighs> well, we're going to talk about that later. These sunglasses from Friendly. See, it has the FF logo. I probably use this like once. Um, I've had this for like the past four years. I mean, it's a good sunglasses. I just don't know why. I think it's the logo. I don't know why I, I I don't I don't go for it for it. It has like it's like green grayish kind of color. I don't I don't understand why I don't reach for it. So um this one I have on if I have to let go of this, I wanna let go of this, but I'm like if I let go of this, I don't have anything this color, then you know why why? And then I'm gonna be selling it for like less than hundred dollars because it's Fendi. So So I could as well just use this if you know if I'm gonna put it on Poshmark if someone price it well I'm gonna let go but for now it's still in my collection these are the things I wanna not that I don't love them I love every one of these bags because you know I had a reason why I bought them but I just feel like my lifestyle kind of right now has changed. I'm more focused on other things rather than like dressing with all of this sort of like you know things and where where I live right now people don't really do all of that <laughs> they don't do all of that I mean it's still uh, Texas but they don't do all of that so what do you guys think leave a comment and I shall see you in my next video but before we go ahead and end today's video I want to say please don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment I shall see you Bye-bye now.